Welcome to another video. In this one I show you how you can connect the Ethernet wired internet connection to your mobile phone with a USB-C hub. And this is the speed connection through the Wi-Fi. And my connection is not that great. It's about 100 mega download and about 25 upload. And also my phone is not great because it has a USB 2.0 even though it's type C. And I have this USB hub and it has an Ethernet connection and I thought why not try to connect it. This is the base US USB C hub and I will try to connect it to my phone. And it has this interesting system that you pull this thing out. I guess this was a way to make it a little bit uh, not so thick the adapter the hub this is a USB-C hub and I have a cat 6 cable here Ethernet cable standard cable it could be cat cat 5 5e or whatever you have and I insert the cable into the USB-C hub it stays there pretty well actually and now I'm plugging it into the router, into the home router. And the last step is to connect it to my phone. The USB-C hub, a lot, there are a lot of USB-C hubs that have the Ethernet connection and I wasn't sure if it's going to work, so I just thought to try it. But it does work and watch what happens. I never saw this icon there on the, you see the taskbar there. That's a symbol for Ethernet. I never saw the symbol for Ethernet in Android. And I disabled the Wi-Fi. Yeah, Wi-Fi is disabled. But I still have Internet and I can do a speed test. I can refresh it. And the speed is not as good as through the Wi-Fi because it's Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz. And yeah, here it's probably because it's USB 2.0 on the port of the phone. But a phone with a USB 3 or higher would be much better. You see the internet is working there from that port, port number 1. And yeah, the Wi-Fi is disabled on the phone, but I still have internet. This is really, I like that. And sometimes it goes higher or lower because my internet is not great like I said but if you want to if you have a phone that has a USB 3 like a Samsung for example you, Samsung has high speed through the USB and uh, connect a USB-C hub to a Samsung phone or other third party phones I don't know why my phone is Xiaomi Xiaomi and they always have USB 2.0 even on the most expensive phones and um, it's annoying a bit for the transfer of files it's really slow you can transfer them faster to the internet but I guess this was the whole idea with the USB so yeah a USB even even on 2.0 it, uh, it works pretty well actually it's also that uh, it might be not the, the actual the speed of the USB 2 or 3. Just uh, this uh, adapter might have a little bit of not so fast connection because there are, there's more processing. Actually, if I would download the file through the, um, through the USB, through the Wi-Fi, this uh, wouldn't be... Uh, normally on USB 2 it will be 30 maybe even 40 megabytes I think per second and that's the real one and this one is less than 10 actually it's the amount here you see divided by 8 this is how it works usually around 10, 10 mega more or less per second if your internet connection is less than 200 50 or 200 or 300 megabytes per second download you shouldn't have a problem with the 2.0 USB and it's just a matter of 
the time when I did these tests and it's uh, sometimes it's higher you see it's uh, just it's my connection is not very stable also and yeah this is a way to have your internet coming into your phone through a USB-C connection you might use a phone as a docking station you might connect a monitor this USB-C hubs they have a HDMI out but it doesn't work on my phone I tried it on the TV it doesn't it doesn't show anything on the TV but there are phones that show a desktop thanks for watching subscribe like and share and I will see you next time hopefully all good